Hi, good afternoon folks, it's Simon here at Vans Today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 70 plate. Uh, the legend that is the Toyota Hilux, this one is in the active specification with the 2.4 D4D engine with a six speed manual gearbox. Um, and it's in the rather rare Super Cab format. So what does Super Cab mean? It means you get the longer rear load bed. It means you can still carry four passengers uh, on some, uh, you can get kind of like two chaps in the back, uh, two in the front, and obviously you've got that longer load bed as well. Um, looking fine with that pro top canopy on it as well. There's a couple of grand that save you on that front as well, isn't it? Uh, it's a one keeper from new vehicle. It has come direct off fleet. It has covered 67,000 warranted miles from new. And I have to say, for work specification vehicle, I think it's in pretty good order as well. Um, now, you know, if you're looking around at the Toyota Hilux, okay, the active tends to be the work spec um, variety. Um, saying that, it's still got a great specification to it. So you've still got obviously the old power steering electric windows you've got uh, air conditioning you have uh, bluetooth telephone bluetooth music auto lights um so really everything you want in a uh, in a truck basically um now um, for those of you that haven't watched any of our videos before the purpose of these is to give you a warts and all uh, video walk around of the vehicle so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make that informed decision whether this is the one for you or whether it isn't. Simple as that. Um, yes, we can take a £500 deposit to secure it. Yes, we can arrange finance. Yes, we can um, do part exchange as well. So a couple of few different options for you to think about there. Um, so let's get started on it, shall we? So we always start up on the roofs. Um, as I say, you've got this pretty cool pro top on the back of it. Uh, that's all looking good coming down onto the actual roof of the vehicle and as you can see no damage to that all looking good down onto your windscreen the windscreen is in good all-round condition there are no major stone chips cracks anything like that on it that's going to cause either of us any grief you'll always get a little bit of micro chipping but there's nothing there as i say that's going to cause either of us any grief coming down onto the bonnet and again the bonnet with the rake of the bonnet on these new Hiluxes they don't really chip up to be honest with you um, it's in good all-round condition it's got a nice polished finish to it as well it's not dull or anything like that and then we come down to the front of the vehicle your front grills front of the front bumper um, all good uh, no major damage nothing along those lines passenger side headlamp unit that's in good order as I say it's got auto headlamps on it passenger side front bumper corner again good condition no major scuffing and if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from, the, from this angle you can see there's a nice shine to the paintwork it's got a nice reflection in it and there are no major dents or dings from what i can see from this angle to point out to you around to the driver's side driver's side headlamp unit again all good driver's side front bumper corner again overall good condition with no major scuffing looking down the side profile from this angle and again all looking straight and tidy uh, nothing from this angle to point out to you uh, driver's side front wing that's all looking good driver's side front steel wheel uh, has the um, oh god what do we call it um, let's call it black steel wheel Simon you're trying to think of something there uh, that you uh, can't portray in the video so shut up and move on um, Bridgestone Jewel tyre on it that tyre has that element of tyre tread depth there where are we with that tyre don't know speak to us about tyres uh, we may have to replace that one where we are with tyres anything less than three millimetres we replace the legal limit being 1.6 driver's side mirror unit with integrated indicators in good condition driver's side door glass that's also in good condition driver's side front door again overall good condition uh, just trying to see if there's anything to point out to you no all looking pretty good driver's side rear door again overall good condition driver's side rear quarter again all looking good uh, what we do have just noticed down here we do have just a little dingy dent minor little one there for you nothing major driver's side rear 
steel wheel, small elements of corrosion on that steel wheel. We have an Avon tire on this one. Uh, that tire tread depth there, all looking good to me. Uh, just have a quick look under your arches. You can see that they're not full of mud, etc. Chassis is all looking good. What we generally tend to do is just, we haven't done it on this one yet, but we can just Schultz your chassis up for you as well, if you want us to. There's your lower sills. Those look all in fine working order as well. No damage to those. Front mud flaps and rear mud flaps on these ones. Rear light unit this side, that's all looking good, no damage. And if I just give you another angle of the vehicle from this side, you can see she looks very respectable. I'll give you the full side angle there as well for you. There you go. Nice looking truck, isn't it? Uh, to the back of the vehicle. So obviously your pro top, hard top on it, okay? No windows on this hard top. Um, working end of the vehicle, I have to say, considering it's the working end of the vehicle, I think it's in pretty good condition for one of these. Um, so we have rear bumper to give you a close up of that. Overall, not too bad condition. Um, sorry, the wind is blowing so much today. There's a bit of, but in actual fact, it's not chewed to pieces or battered to death, this rear bumper. You do have a tow pack on there, a ball and pin type, which is quite nice. And we have uh, the old uh, seven pin electrics on there. Here's a little bit of a scratchy mark on the bumper there, but nothing major. Opening it up inside so top of the tailgate has got the normal wear and tear on it okay what i would suggest is getting a plastic finisher to go on there why the hell people don't put them on there from new i have no idea um inside the vehicle your hard top hard tops in overall good condition it's had a ply lining kit fitted to the back of it always interesting i personally think the old uh Plastic liners work an awful lot better, but obviously with COVID and stuff, you couldn't get Jack, could you, to uh, complete any jobs. So that may well be why they plied it instead. Anyway, ply lining kit, it's done a job, okay? Does it look pretty? Not massively so. Could we paint it in garage floor paint, grey garage floor paint to make it look pretty for you? Yes, we could. Are you bothered about it? Speak to us on the telephone, let us know, okay? We do have a little bit of wear and tear on the edge of the bed there again nothing major probably what you'd expect for one of these that's done a little bit of a job um can we fit something over that i think we probably can um but speak to us again uh, as i say for the workhorse spec i don't think it's that bad to be honest um rear light unit this side passenger side all looking good have a look down the passenger side from this angle and again you can see nice shiny paintwork to it Hard top on this side, all good. Rear core to this side, overall good conditions. A couple of minor marks, I'm just going to point out to you. It's got a couple of minor little scratches there. Your steel wheel this side, minor elements of corrosion on there. Avon tyre on this side, and that tyre all looking pretty good. Again, just show you underneath the arches and your chassis rail there, you can see overall clean and tidy. Um, this is your, both sides of the vehicle have got it. It's a massive slab of paint protection film. Always goes on the arches on the Hilux. Slightly damaged there. It is just on the paint protection film side rather than the actual paintwork, but there is just a little bit there. Uh, just a little bit in the film rather than the actual paintwork. Um, front and rear doors on the passenger side. Again, overall good condition. Lower sills, again, nice tidy. Door edges. Overall tidy, door handles good. Ring mirror unit this side, all good. Passenger side front wing, again, overall good condition. And then again, we have Bridgestone dual attire. Steel wheel with small elements of corrosion on it. And there's your tire tread depth. I've got to say, your front tires, I would imagine, are probably the original Bridgestone jewelers. Whilst they're legal, I'm not a massive fan. Um, so I would imagine we will be putting a pair of front tyres on it. Um, always speak to us. If you're interested in this vehicle, speak to us. If you run it with a specific form of, if you need them with off-road tyres and stuff, speak to us. Let's see if we can do a deal. 
wear it we put something on there that suits us both yeah door shuts clean and tidy entry seals and plastics overall good condition now being the super cab or club cab or however you want to call it um you have that little small door hang on a second let's just turn that radio off you have the little small door here tiny little window um, as you can see the plastics of the door card are in good condition the door shuts are in clean tidy condition as well as i've already mentioned entry seals and plastics are in good condition door card minor elements of wear and tear let's get rid of that shade if i can so you can see but overall clean and tidy rear seats as i say they're not going to be massively comfy for a long journey but if you need to get four blokes to sight off road it'll do the job otherwise you've got a bit of internal secure storage that you could use for it um, it is a seat belted seat after all so you've got two in the back there two in the front back of the seats all pretty good um, and now i'm not going to call it leather because i suspect no animals have been killed in the making of these seats um, potentially vinyl i'd have thought but it looks pretty smart doesn't it, it looks like leather to be honest with you uh, rubber flooring inside you get in an active yes that is in my eyes a positive because it gives you a nice wipeable clean floor you can see the sunlight is just playing havoc with my video isn't it passenger airbag top of your dashboard that's all looking good glove box we have an upper and a lower put the camera gear back down upper glove box as you can see book pack no, you can't see because the sun's playing havoc book packs in there Lower glove box with even more handbook in there. Uh, oh, the sun's just gone behind the clouds. There we go. A few things to note. These aren't rusty like they normally are on a Hilux. Your sills aren't too bad either. And then, as I say, flooring in the back overall not too bad. To be honest with you now, I suspect we're going to be, be giving it another quick clean. Oh, you do have a side airbag on these seats. That's nice to see, isn't it? Um, I'm not 100% happy with the cleanliness of it inside, so we'll get it fired back through the valeted. But that is possibly me being a little bit OCD. Um, again, little handle opens up the door this side. And again, rear door cards all looking good. Inside the back, the sun's come back out to play just to destroy our internal videos, but overall good. Headlining inside, overall good. Back of the seats, all good, if you could only see it. Try and give you shadow. And then obviously rubber flooring this side as well. Entry seals and plastics, not too bad. We do have the standard little bit of wear on the paint from getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, so what we tend to do is put some um, heavy duty uh, jig tape on it and get it painted, but then it will just be needing painting again in the future. Driver's side seats all good. Again, a side airbags on this. A door card, driver's side, clean and tidy. As you can see in here, you've got a beeper for your ignition, for leaving the key in the ignition. Headlamp levelers, your power heat is on there as well. Um, bonnet and fuel release is on there. Flooring in the front, overall good. Pedal rubbers are good, they're not worn through. And then inside, we have your, just firing it up, um, stereo system here. I do believe, let's just double check, we have FM, AM, Bluetooth, telephone, Bluetooth, music. Okay, you have a little auxiliary and USB powers are in here as well. Um, did I mention Bluetooth, telephone, Bluetooth, music? Well, you have got it, okay. Turn that stereo off again. Um, the all important air conditioning, heated rear window, electronic stability program, locking rear diff, 12 volt power there, selectable four wheel drive system here. Six speed manual gearbox, gear knobs in good condition, it's not worn through or anything like that. Steering, uh, the sorry, gear gate is in good order. Eco mode, power mode, little, uh, must, have we got an LED light on the roof? I'll have to double check that one out for you. Cup holders. Um, and just a little bit that needs cleaning a little bit better in my eyes in there as well. We'll get that sorted out for you. 
electric windows and electric mirrors. Um, and then on the dashboard there, vehicle's running, and as you can see, it's all in good order with no warning light other than to say my seatbelt's not on and the handbrake is currently on. A uh, bit of multi-function on your steering wheel for your volume con search controls and your Bluetooth telephone. Steering wheel, a little bit of wear on the steering wheel, nothing major. Auto lights and rear fog lights are on that stalk. Wipers are on that stalk. The all essential sunglass holder. I know, that's what you've been waiting for. Internal lights. Um, and then let's show you under the bonnet, finally. He says, trying to do it one-handed. Maybe one should try to release the bonnet before we try and show you under the bonnet. There we go. No Steven Spielberg, let's face it. But underneath here, underneath the bonnet, it's in overall clean, tidy condition. A few things to note. The bonnet bolts are in good original condition. It doesn't appear to have had any panel work off on the front end. Brake fluid nice and clean and tidy. Airbox, coolant reservoirs, of which there are two, and as you can see, both of them have the correct colour coolant, there's no contamination in them. Battery is all looking good, and the engine bay on the whole is all looking very neat and tidy. It doesn't appear to have done any massive amount of hard work in there. And that, my friends, is about it. So, there are 50 to 60 photos of this vehicle on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, Facebook, LinkedIn. We're on Instagram, Trustpilot, a bit of TikToking and all of that malarkey. And there you go, my friends. 17, 18 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in this truck, I think it gives you a very honest appraisal of exactly what it is that you're buying. Not 100% perfect, not a, an abused knacker either. Um, so I think overall, she is um, a very respectable work truck. Okay, any questions, fire them at me. Thanks for watching. If you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest videos, like and subscribe to the channel, folks. Like and subscribe. Cheers.